the BBC, which is the um, national radio, uh, has developed an attitude whereby they just won't touch reggae. Like they just refuse to play it. The only time they play it is when it's uh, when it's in the chart. You know, like it, like it accidentally gets in the charts and they play it. You know, um, but general promotion, like what they do with other music, like they get a new release and they just automatically play it. They don't do that with reggae. Why not? Um, it comes right back to what um, what reggae music is dealing with, I think. You see, the truth, certain truth, they don't want to be known. I mean, the establishment, right? Because we've got, it's, it's much higher than uh, a couple of people just making decisions on what records to play. The content of the music has got a lot to do with it. Now, there's a lot of things that uh, the system that set up the BBC don't want to be known. Do you think it's a kind of racism? Yeah, well, obviously it comes down to that, too. You know, but I wouldn't, um, wouldn't really say it's out and out racism, if you understand what I mean. Yeah. But um, that has got something to do with it, yes. You've got, like, a, a set of men, then, who, uh, who control the whole thing, right? And their aim in controlling the whole thing is to keep the masses down. Right now, um, reggae music is dealing with the freedom of the masses, not only black people, dealing with all people. So um, those views, they don't want to be known. What's going on really is exploitation, you know, because you have a whole lot of singers even like myself who have been around a long time and who have done um, many good recording and yet still they're still suffering you know it's like it's only one 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 person who the world really see as someone who is who is dealing with reggae but there's a lot more good people who have been stifled who have been boycott and bootleg, you know? It's a great pity because the reggae record does not get, I, I, I might as well use this word, any airplay from British radio or any radio. The, the reggae records that get played from our own disco, which we call Sound System. Sound System has done miracles for reggae music. Called dubs, acetates, right? Some people sell them up to um, 30 pounds, 25 pounds. They get, sometimes we get four, you know, two on each side. All yeah. different versions, you know. And two are made for From DJs, sound systems. Well, sound system is a is a is a um, expensive hobby. That's the first thing that anyone who wants to know. And sound system is also uh, an entertainment thing that white folks call mobile mobile discotheque. Right? In sense, whereas the black people, it was originated, sound system was originated in Jamaica. And we take all that we saw in Jamaica in, and brought it to England, the idea to England. And we built it up and we decided to work from there, you understand? Also, sound system is a very good thing for England because it teaches black and white to mix, you understand? I mean, we, as sound system men, we play for the poor class people, people who can't afford to pay big monies in clubs to go to high clubs. Most big posh clubs in England don't allow sound system in, you understand? Because they reckon that they always feel that sound system is a thing that mixed with 
drugs and you understand and they don't want the thing in this too much noise and they can't see the good of what sound system is really doing for the country and the people because locally there is nowhere that the people mix in England like in the sound system dances a, lot, a tremendous amount of black and white we preach peace peace and love and unity and overstanding you understand Control to rock up the soul and make the good time go. Right there, y'all. Yeah. Great song star, Ethiopian king. <laughs> just control it, just switch up your set, put your record on, and fire away. Reggae music, best by any test, you know? <laughs> 